really wonderful. <laughs> anyway, well, Shabbat Shalom, everybody, and I hope you have a good Sabbath. Hineni, here I am, giving of myself for others unselfishly. Each and early year this year, both Rabbi Cohn and Rabbi Hart asked us to write, many of us, to write some kind of a little story regarding what Hineni moment was to us. Uh, Esther just said a wonderful story, and it's the one I'm going to follow with is going to be a little hard to follow, but we'll give it a try. My personal Hineni moment, I'm going to need my glasses for this one. My personal Hineni moment started when I was asked as a personal friend as a personal favor, rather, to a friend's father who had recently moved into a local nursing home. I was nervous at first when I first came to visit him, for I'd never met him before. And he, whose name is Bob, was highly skeptical upon my first visit, as you would assume. He was wondering, you know, who are you, and why are you here, and what are you up to? Well, in time, over almost a two-year period, Bob welcomed my visits, and I felt very, com uh, very comfortable conversing with him. We would joyfully talk about religion, sports, and politics. I joined Bob and his family when he and the nursing home would have a party, be it celebrating his birthday or other Jewish holidays. On occasion, my young son, Sam, and my wife, Cheryl, would accompany me at these parties and for some of the many visits that I had with Bob. A most sad but most memorable Hineni moment occurred when I learned from his family that Bob's health had taken a turn from the worst. I visited him for what turned out to be the last time, for in the hospital, there he was in intensive care. At that time, I caught him alone in a glass of clay room. As I entered the room, I noticed he'd lost some weight and he was in a semi-conscious state. Yet, upon seeing me, Bob opened his eyes, cracked a smile, and has extended his hand to me. As we held hands, we quietly engaged each other for what seemed like a very long period of time. It was painful for me having to finally leave him knowing that this would be my last visit. For Bob had passed away several days later. What I learned from this experience took a while for me to realize. I just cannot express my feelings from this experience in writing. But it felt good, good in getting to know and be friendly to a most interesting man, and good about myself that I did not shy away from this opportunity. In the end, his family gave me the honor to be one of his pallbearers at his funeral. And for this and for his friendship, I will never forget Bob. Hineni, here I am, giving of myself unselfishly. No, no, no. I really look at it from an opposite point of view. It's what I get from Hineni. It's what it gives me. I have found the secret to Hineni is indeed a selfish endeavor. So let me explain. One, Hineni gives me an appreciation for what I have especially when I'm serving a hot meal at the Ark or when I'm working at a local food pantry to those people of so little. Two, it gives me personal joy when I recently played Santa Claus to hundreds of starry-eyed children who were just coming up to me and just kind of asking me all kinds of wonderful little questions. It was just a wonderful event. Three, Hineni gives me the appreciation of community involvement when working with others of a similar charitable interest. Many of these people became lifelong friends, be it if I'm in the Jewish community when packing for Malchitin or serving at a school, park, or various charitable boards. And four, Hineni gives me the selfishness of having fond memories of recalling the participation that I recently had at the Thanksgiving interfaith service, or by remembering the years of friendship that I had with Bob. 
appreciation, joy, community involvement, and memories. These all represent the positive, personal, and emotional benefits that I received from Hanani. Rabbi Hart and Rabbi Cohn, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak tonight. I accept it on behalf of all of those people that give of their time, and many of them I know are here tonight. So again, Shabbat Shalom, and may God bless. Rich didn't want to embarrass his rabbi this evening. And in fact, just before the service began, I learned of his words, and the, the Bob of which he speaks is my father. And so a wonderful moment of, of friendship and of, uh, of connection, of, of giving, of caring, and had a very special place in my, in my dad's life. So thank you.